Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the Q&A that has taken me literally five bajillion hours to do for some reason. So <laughs> this is like my fourth time re-recording this. I'll just hop right into the questions because I actually got a ton and I want to answer as many as possible. I also did separate these into different groups of questions. So I have random questions, art slash YouTube questions, food questions because for some reason I got a ton of those, personal questions, book questions, OC questions, and Christianity questions. So let's get started on that. I will start with the random questions first. If you were to meet anyone from time, who would it be? I would meet Jesus because he's got all the answers. Then I also got Uno reverse card, Keef with a mullet, shocked emoji, or smiley emoji. This is from Miss Random here on YouTube. <laughs> I asked her this question a while back. She actually made a short about it, so go watch it. You know what? Keef can pull off basically anything, even the mullet if he really wanted to. Uh, Keef with a mullet? Sure, let's, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> if you could turn into anything or transport into any book, where would you go or what would you become? I'd go to the green ember probably. I don't know. It sounds like like after the end of the series, just to clarify. Uh, if you've read it, then you probably understand. Maybe Harry Potter. That sounds like a cool world. Moving on to the art and YouTube questions. Okay. I got a ton of repeating questions for these, so uh, how long does it take you to finish an artwork? Okay. It takes me from anywhere between like literally 30 seconds for like a quick little pen doodle or whatever to like 30 hours. That's normally when I'm working on multiple artworks in one thing, so like if I'm working on story pages, those usually take a very long time. I'd say like average is like maybe two hours, three hours. Next question. What advice would you have for any artists? Keep going. Oh, that was loud, sorry. Keep going. Okay, don't don't give up. Don't compare yourself to other artists. Also, when you make art, make sure you give credit to yourself and other people if other people were involved because that always makes, first of all, the other person feel great because it's like, oh, you're inspiring someone. And second, it's just, it gets rid of any gray area between art theft. It's, it's a pain to deal with. <laughs> and then I think last thing, try not to beat yourself up about how your art looks because if it's not quote unquote good, compared to someone else. You don't know how long that other person's been working. They could have spent 20 hours on that art piece. It, they didn't probably make it in 10 seconds. And even if they did make it in only a few minutes, it's probably because they practiced it over and over and spent hours practicing. So just understand it takes practice. Don't beat yourself up about it because I mean, it doesn't really do any good. Okay, next question. Was your channel always art or did you do something else on your channel first? It was always art. Uh, originally it was Warrior Cats, because I was into that when I made my channel. It was- my channel name was actually Bright Clan. You can look at my first videos, that's the watermark. Then I switched it to Shasha Cat Studios, because that's like a- that gives you a broader range of content, <laughs> you know? Who inspired you to make videos? The first YouTube channel that I would watch and made me want to start a channel was Creative Rachie. Uh, I will link her in the description and you can check her out. She's really cool. Next section, which is the food questions. I don't know why people ask me. I got like 10. No, I'm kidding. I didn't get that many questions. I got a ton of questions about candy bars and cake. I was like, okay, what's happening? Anyways, if I were a candy bar, what candy bar would I be and why? I'd be a Twix because I just like Twix. Uh, what is your favorite cake flavor? All of them. I love cake. It's good. Very good. How do you eat a banana? Like, open it. Do you open it from the bottom or the top or in half? In half? I've never done that before. Uh, I open it from the long part, I guess. I don't know. Um, like, the little stem part, <laughs> I guess. Please don't attack me for how I open a banana, okay? Okay, moving on. Personal questions. Do you play video games? If so, which ones? I don't really play video games, just so you know. I, uh, my brothers do a lot. You can go check out their channels, also linked in the description. <laughs> uh, I do really enjoy Minecraft when I play this one game called Gris. It, it's on the Nintendo. I highly recommend it. It's like beautiful, awesome game. What's your favorite animal? Cats, bunnies, birds, butterflies. Thoughts on immortality? Personally, I don't know why anyone would want to be immortal other than going to heaven like that kind of immortal that that's pretty cool Like yes 100% like being immortal on earth sounds like it would be very depressing and sad and boring because once you've lived long enough Once you've lived normal lifetime, I'd say there really isn't much 
to do. You reach a certain point where all your friends would be dead. All your family would be dead and you basically have done everything like anyways uh <laughs> last question for the personal questions is how are you so awesome finger boop i don't think i'm that awesome i'd say i'm pretty cool sometimes when i have a good day but i'm pretty average but thank you i appreciate it next category book questions who do you think sophie foster's dad is sophie foster's from keeper velocities if you have not read that and her dad is a mystery and i personally think it's geffen i don't know i saw a theory online and it was pretty convincing and i don't know it'd be a cool plot twist what's my favorite book series at the moment it is the out of time series by nadine brandes i'm so sorry if i said her last name wrong <laughs> but highly recommend it very good dystopian christian awesome masterpiece just please read it i need to nerd out with someone <laughs> The last question is, what's your favorite KOTLC ship besides Soki? Um, Dexion. Okay, second to last group of questions. OC questions. If you could, what would you want your OC lore to be? A novel, graphic novel, or TV show slash movie? I would want it to be a graphic novel or a TV show. Next question, who's your favorite OC? Probably currently it's Ayla. I really like Ori too, and Jay, and Chiel, and Zia though. I don't know. Give me a random chill fact. I don't know. I love him. That's from my friend Starla. Thank you, Starla. <laughs> Go subscribe to her. Also linked in the description. Whoa. Okay. Chill fact. He does not get very along. Whoa. He does not get along well with Ori. Um, they're like very opposites. They don't really understand each other. Uh, Chill's really quiet and Ori's like bonkers, extrovert man. Last question. Which is a very important one. So listen very, 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 very closely, okay? This is kind of like a secret that I am revealing now, and only the people who really make it to the end of this video will know it. And um, so if you know this secret, comment this emoji. My OCs, Ayla, Jay, Ori, Chiel, and Zia, they are from a story I'm working on called The Rogue's Heir. The Rogue's Heir, like, heir to the throne. Uh, not air like the one you breathe. It is going to be a webcomic and I will be posting it here on YouTube in a couple weeks probably after this posts. The prologue will be out. I already have about 40, 60 pages done. So yeah, I really hope you guys will like the story. I've worked really hard on it for the past like three years at this point. Maybe not three, two. Two years? Yeah. And some of my friends know it, some of my online friends know, but I have not like publicly announced it on YouTube. So yay, now you know! <laughs> so all the lore will be explained in that. Alright, last group of questions. I have three questions and this is about Christianity, which is my religion. What is your favorite Bible verse? So hard. Let me see grabs phone i really like john 8 32 proverbs 10 12 luke 1 37 is a good one i'm like looking through my phone because i saved a bunch of bible verses and i am horrible at remembering what the names of them are first peter 5 8 through 9 second corinthians 4 17 psalm 31 24 are good ones there are so many oh my gosh i have some listed in my youtube description too if you want to look at those and at the end of each video i put a bible verse on short well almost all the videos <laughs> so yeah those have normally a meaning that matches the video if you want to check those out too what is the thing that you love most about christianity okay there are a lot of things First of all, you get a personal relationship with God. I know a lot of people think God is this big scary man who like, you can't talk to, but you can talk to God, like a normal person. You don't have to be like, oh, holy God of the seven realms. <laughs> For, I don't know, one realm, I guess. He just wants to be your friend. He is like, imagine your best friend or like the nicest person you've ever met times infinity and then perfect and that's God. Having a God who cares enough to try and keep trying and never stop loving me is great. And then also, Christianity gives you a whole ton of really great people. And also the Bible. Bro, that thing, <laughs> that thing answers prayers and problems, my goodness. Alright, yeah, I'll stop rambling, sorry. Last question is, favorite Bible figure? In the comment, it said besides Jesus, because Jesus is the best boy. Hmm, I like Barbara. No, wait, not Barbara. What am I? What is, what am I talking? Deborah. Deborah. She was one of the first, actually the only, I think, female judge and, what do you call it? What do you call someone who does prophecies and stuff? 
that kind of thing. Uh, she led an army. Okay, so this general dude was like, bro, okay, uh, so we gotta attack these dudes, and, uh, I'm, like, too chicken to do it, so I need you. Keep in mind, um, Deborah's this, like, normal, um, I mean, not normal, super cool lady, but, like, she, she's probably a mom, like, she wasn't a warrior or anything, but this general dude's like, bro, can you lead my army? Because, you know, I'm too scared to do it. And so he, she's like, you want me to lead your army? And she's like, all right, you're too chicken. You full-grown man who literally has this as your job. You're too chicken to go fight this. Okay, sure. So she leads this army, and she defeats these dudes that they're trying to fight. She's not even, like, that's not even her job. She's just like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do that. So she's really cool. Okay, I that was the last question for my q and I hope you enjoy listening to me ramble on and 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 on about a bunch of stuff that you guys wanted to know. Um, I will probably do another one of these in like 10 years because these take forever to make. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. It means a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!